officially welcome to our channel. This is our first official video introducing ourselves. So I'm Aaron and I'm Liz and um, we just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background about our relationship and how we got to where we are today and a little bit of our engagement story because that was our first video we posted. We really just wanted to um, share that with you guys. Share the journey of meeting the Browns. <laughs> We started dating um, in June of 2016, which was um, a little bit before we graduated um, when we were seniors in high school. So we kind of um, started things on our senior trip um, to Seattle and then we came back sort of as a couple and then ever since then we've been dating for almost four years um, up into the engagement, which that's all about what you planned. Yeah. So. The engagement was something that I definitely knew was coming. Um, we both did. We talked about it for probably the last year. Um, pretty much every single day we talked about it because we just wanted to, we knew it was time to get married. And um, I started planning the engagement about um, in June of our, uh, right after uh, we had our three year anniversary. And um, I knew from there I wanted something to be um, really cool, something that I felt like a lot of people have not done before. Uh, I knew I wanted um, it to be at nighttime because I wanted to have the sunset. I also wanted to have uh, some letters that said, will you marry me? That's something that um, I was the most important thing to me. Um, I knew I wanted a lot of um, Christmas lights outside and I knew I wanted it to be during the month of December because that is the month that we want to get married in and December just always been a special month um, for the both of us. So shortly after I knew um, that I was going to be proposing in December, um, I told uh, some of my closest friends that that's what I was going to be doing um, and my mom as well. And um, my mom and I just immediately started planning exactly how we wanted it. We wanted it to be a complete surprise um, for Liz. We wanted her to have absolutely no idea um, and just be totally um, just shocked. Um, and that's definitely what happened. Um, she definitely was 100% shocked. Um, so me and my mom started planning and um, we knew we wanted to be close to Christmas um, because we have family members that come into town and we wanted them all to be there um, as well. So um, me and my mom started talking and uh, we came up with a plan that we are going to have family Christmas pictures done and uh, we are going to invite Liz to be in our family pictures. Um, and the plan was so good that his mom had texted like the both of us in a group chat like December 1st on the dot and said we're having um, Christmas pictures done and then right after we're gonna have a family Christmas party. So that's kind of something that they do every year is Christmas pictures so I never really thought of it but I kind of thought it was a little bit off that I was invited this year to be a part of those. Um, but I just kind of went with the flow, honestly. Yeah, so I knew that that was going to be the perfect setup because I knew she would already be dressed up for that and wear something that she would want pictures in, um, which was an awesome idea um, for that. Um, Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> so she, um, she also, um, I knew I didn't have to worry about her nails being done because she would want them to be done for the picture. Um, that that's definitely, um, I feel... If you tell your girlfriend that you're gonna um, need her to get her nails done, she's gonna automatically assume that she's gonna be um, getting engaged pretty soon. Um, so I knew I didn't have to worry about that at all. Um, so it came down to it um, about two weeks before and that's when I sent out a mass text to both of our family members and our closest friends that we wanted to be there at the engagement party. Um, so I texted everybody exactly what time to be at my house and that would obviously was a surprise. Um, and my mom just did a complete amazing job of setting up the whole thing and decorating it all. Um, she's just so talented and all that and pulling things all together. Um, and so she uh, pulled it all together. Um, the night before, um, me and uh, two of my best friends um, went over there and um, I told Liz that we were going to do the Orlando Swings. Um, which he had already really did it in real life like already really did it so i was like why are you going to do that again that's so weird so i just told her we had so much fun and we just had to do it again um so we uh didn't do the swings we just immediately started decorating um with my mom helping her get all the tables all set up 
Um, I took about three trips back and forth to Orlando with bringing things to there. Um, and, and the other time you lied that you were going to get my Christmas present, yeah. but I didn't get a Christmas present. I told her present. you did get a Christmas present that's on your finger. Um, so, um, yeah, we set up everything, and the next morning we woke up, continued setting up, and I left at about 12 o'clock um, to head back home so I could get ready for um, our pictures. Um, and she was going to meet me at my house, then we would get in the car and go there. Um, so um, I had um, a few of our best friends set up um, the whole gazebo, um, which is where the proposal was that you saw in the um, video um, before. And when um, it's literally, they did such an amazing job. It was exactly how I imagined it and all kept dreaming every night of how I wanted it to look. Um, so they set it up just a hundred percent um to perfection of how i wanted it to be um and we got in the car um from my house and started heading um to orlando um we were about 15 minutes away from my house and um i the whole ride i was trying to just act completely normal and just but really wasn't acting normal yeah i was you said i was acting hyper yes you were acting like hyper than more hyper than normal yeah, so I was just trying to act normal, um, not act weird and quiet, because I felt if I acted really quiet, she would think something was up. So I told And I already her, had had a, like, a little feeling that day that it could be the day, but then there were so many things that like weren't lined up that, it, that I didn't think it was gonna work. Like for example, like my parents and my sisters um, were planning to do go to the Gaylord Ice um, that day they had sent us a whole text and everything and then I was like, oh, we have this Christmas party me and Aaron can't go um, So I thought that was like a for sure legit thing And so it was kind of like those things that I thought like there's no way that this could happen because Aaron has always known that I wanted my family, you know to be a part of it Yeah, so um, I told her that I had a cramp in my hand and my hand was itching so I had her um, scratching and massaging my hand um, basically the whole ride um, until like 15 minutes before um, we stopped and she pulled her phone out and decided to look at find my friends to find out where her family was. I got a weird feeling that something was going on. So I just immediately freaked out and I grabbed her phone and said I needed to pull her camera out oh, um, because I thought that there was something um, either in my nose or in my no, eye or on something. Your, on your neck. On my neck, yes, because I started out. breaking out with the sweater I was wearing. It started um, giving me like hives on the side of my neck. Um, <laughs> so then I um, gr just grabbed her phone and did it. She's like, why would you do that? And I was like, well, your phone was out. I just couldn't, I had no idea what to even say. So um, my mom, we orchestrated that um, I was gonna call her when we were about 10 minutes away about to pull into um, our neighborhood front gate. And um, she, so I called her and um, she said, hey, can um, you guys stop by Publix and get us some ice cream? And I was, I started like freaking out. I was, in my head, I was like, that's not what the plan was. The plan was for you to just tell us to go to the gazebo and meet you there. And so I told Liz, I was like, okay, we're gonna stop by Publix. Um, you can just go to the bathroom there because she always has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so um, we pull into Publix and she goes into the bathroom. So I immediately call my mom and I was like, mom, what's going on? I was like, we're at Publix. I was like, I'm ready to do this now. And she said, well, nobody's here at the party yet. And she misunderstood me that she thought I wanted everybody at the party before we got to the gazebo, um, which was not the case at all. I didn't care because I knew we could um, just waste time taking pictures afterwards with the photographer um, that I had set up. And so um, Liz came out of the bathroom and I hung up the phone and I said, she doesn't need um, I ice think cream she asked anymore. For water. <laughs> well, after that, then I said, well, we just need to get water for them. So then we got water and finally got back in the car, pull into the gate and get to the gazebo. And then that's um, what happened. We got out of the car, walked down the stairs. Well, and your mom had called oh, yeah, in the right. car and said there's an engagement going on. Yeah. So y'all kind of just. So I mean, Aaron, we're kind of joking all December long because it's obviously the most popular month to get engaged. Like, oh my gosh, like another person. It felt like every time I got on Instagram or on Facebook, like I saw another person I know engaged. So, and then Aaron said, 
oh my gosh, another one. Like he was still so convincing to like the very last second. So we're like, okay, we'll just like try to stay out of their way. So when we had walked down, we saw the whole gazebo set up. So I saw the string lights. I didn't see the rose petals or the sign until we obviously got closer. But I saw like two people hiding behind a tree. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, like these people are like obviously set up for the engagement. And at first all I saw was like dark brown hair. So I thought it was his sister because she, his mom had said his sister was already down there. Mm -hmm. So I was like, why is Katie hiding behind a tree? And, but then it ended up being our photographer and um, his now wife. But um, anyways, keep going. Yes. <laughs> so we get there and she keeps saying, it. I was like, well, let's go look at it. I was like, how am I gonna get her to go down there? So I kept saying, let's let's go look, let's go I look. I didn't wanna go. Yeah, she didn't wanna go look. So um, she just would not go. So I just said, okay, we have to go. So I just grabbed her just hand and me. just pulled her over there and that's when the video started. Um, so yeah, we I proposed to her and um, we took pictures afterwards. And we had a great photographer yeah, crew. It was, it was awesome. Yeah, it was just, it was exactly how I envisioned everything to be. It was just 100% exactly what my plan was. Um, then after that, um, we got back in the car and I told her that I have another surprise for her, um, but she had to put um, this um, scarf over her eyes, um, which is a huge scarf, so it kind of looks like a bag. Um, and so we, um, I put her in the car and I start going a weird way to my house. Well, and I was um, even asking you questions on the way to mm -hmm. the car. I was like, um, does my family Yeah, she was like, know? does your family know? And he was still pulling the lie that they were at Gaylord yeah. at the ice thing. And he said, my sisters didn't even know. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to be so <laughs> mad. And so all this stuff. I mean, I obviously knew we were going to his mom's house, but I had no idea like what was going to be there when we got there. Like he still said that the family Christmas party was going on. So I'm like, isn't that weird? Like we just got engaged and... We're gonna walk into a family Christmas party, but. So yeah, we um, finally pull up to my house and we pull up at the front. Um, I got out of the car and I told her that um, if you like, <laughs> if you take that off, we're, we're going back home. Um, <laughs> Cause it would have ruined everything. So um, I got out of the car, took her purse and um, got the photographer. Um, and uh, we went inside, all my family and everybody was um, already inside. I wanted them all um, immediately right inside. So when we walked in, everybody was just all right there. It was um, so cool. Right in the um, formal living room. And um, then I set her purse down and I was just so, so excited <laughs> um, to see everybody. Um, and so then I go out in the car and I get her and I just start um, walking her all the way to the front. Um, and I walked really slow. Yeah, you I'm walked for real trip. slow. So we finally get up to the front uh, of the house and I just told her, are you ready? And then I took off uh, the scarf and everybody said surprise. Yeah, it was it was definitely the best night ever. It was just like the whole thing and how his mom just decorated everything so beautifully. It was a great night to have like literally every single so many people that we absolutely love and that's our family and our friends were there and you know people were in town for Christmas so it was just it was it was so so amazing yeah it definitely was it was so perfect it's something that I just I've always dreamed of and I knew I wanted to be over the top um, and it was exactly over the top exactly how I wanted it so. yeah and a lot of people ask me they're like oh my gosh I would have hated like a surprise party right after but uh, that's something that I've always wanted and obviously Aaron and I talked about our engagement like basically leading up to it and so we I told him you know I would just love to have like a little you know get together with like our family and friends but that it was way more than I ever could have expected after um, just such like a high from getting engaged and everything so yeah, that's that's basically it. Our engagement story and how everything went down and how he got me there and how that all worked out. The engagement, obviously, the most important part is the ring. Um, the ring is something that um, it turned out exactly how I wanted it to be. Um, me too. <laughs> so um, in when did I go? November. It was October. I thought. I think it's November. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was November. 
So um, my dream has always been to design uh, my future wife's ring um, in New York um, in the Diamond District. And so that's um, exactly what I did. I told my parents um, that I wanted to go to New York to do that. So we kind of made it as our last family trip, um, just my siblings and my parents to go to New York. And they didn't know that I was, why we were going there was for the ring. They still didn't know until the very end of the trip. Um, and so me and my mom um, went there to the Diamond District and spent the entire day there going to uh, different stores to find out everything um, about the rings. I knew exactly what I wanted, I just had to find it. And I knew once I saw it, it um, was going to be um, exactly um, the ring that I was gonna pick. So I go finally go into this store and um, the lady that um, I had worked with, um, she was just so amazing. Um, she helped me just out tremendously. Um, I already kind of educated myself a lot about diamonds, um, different cuts and color, um, and the size obviously. And um, so we walked in and I just started telling her this is exactly what I want. I want um, to have a halo. I want diamonds to be underneath it as well. I want her to see diamonds anywhere that she looks on the ring. I want her to always be able to find a diamond. Um, and then um, we, designed it and um she kind of placed the diamond in the middle and i saw it and i was just like that's exactly the ring that i want that's exactly how i imagine it in my mind so um she told me it would be ready the next day and um, we picked it up and uh, i knew the first thing i wanted to do was take it to central park and take a picture of it um looking over the water um and with the um, buildings in the background because I knew that's something that Liz would really um It's the like. best picture. So I, um, I wanted to hold the ring up um, and have uh, Manhattan in the background. So that's exactly what we did and um, I held on to that ring um, the whole time. <laughs> um, I didn't let it. Um, I always, the whole flight I had, I was holding on to it in my jacket. Um, I just didn't want to lose it. And um, I got home that night and I just laid in bed and just stared at it in the <laughs> box. Um, Cause I was just so proud of myself and how I designed something um, that means so much to me. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. Our engagement story and how everything went down and how he got me there and how that all worked out. Um, but yeah, we want you guys to stay tuned to more videos um, of us planning our wedding. Um, right now, we're kind of in the thick of it. We're having a lot going on. We're scheduling a lot of different things. I've already started trying on dresses. I had my first appointment last week. Um, so we're just really excited and doing that. So that's, that's what we're going to be. Yeah, our next video will be um, of us having our um, more formal engagement pictures at um, where we're getting married. Yeah, um, our wedding video. So we'll, uh, we'll reveal our wedding venue and how ex we're just like so excited to mm -hmm. um, get married there and working out all the details and everything. So yeah, it's a place we've all we both have wanted to have our wedding at. So it all worked out. All right, bye guys. See you in the next video. to our channel this is our <laughs> we suck at this <laughs> that's what i said <laughs> um i went and told her we're walking by so